Hey bike guys, welcome back. We are taking out the GPX uh, TSE 300. Um, I just got the bike and I wanted to share it with you, so stick around. Well, here we go, guys. I um, goofed up on getting some video from the morning. We went out and did a 40-mile loop out in the in the hills outside of this track, and um, I it just didn't work out for me to get video down there. But I wanted to put up something so that you can kind of get some feedback on this uh, TSE 300 from GPX. I've been getting a lot of questions and calls, emails and things uh, about the bike. We were able to get one of the first ones in the country. And this is the um, non-linkage version. You can get the T, uh, TSE 300 in a linkage version or in the non-linkage version. So the non-linkage version is like a PDS type shock on here. In fact, that's what it is, a PDS shock. but. Um, they had a little motocross track out here. Actually, it's a pretty good sized motocross track. And I thought, well, I'll just go out and burn a little couple of laps and let you be able to listen to the motor and, and that sort of thing and just talk about the bike a little bit. So <clears throat> we got the bike in. I took it for a very short ride, oh, 15 miles. And I was riding with my grandson and some other uh, people and and so I didn't get hardly any video on that. I think we have one available on that one, but um, on that little bit of short ride. Oh yeah, I was uh, Garrett was riding, trying it, and I got some of that. Maybe that you should have seen that already. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about the bike a little bit. Now I've had a chance to ride it. I rode it a 40 mile loop out there in those mountains in the back there, and. Uh, found it to be just a, an amazingly capable bike and so then when I got down here to where we were staging at this track area that will all throw up some more video so here we go this motor on this little thing is surprisingly peppy and it's uh, it was still set up in full enduro condition so I didn't want to just air out these jumps and stuff like that. I was being a little careful with it I wasn't sure exactly how the shock and the forks and all that would react if, and I wanted to get used to it. So I just was kind of taking it easy around the track, getting a feel for it. But I can tell you this, uh, with some adjustments on the shock absorber, getting the spring rate set up for myself and uh, getting the clickers tuned in a little bit and stuff like that, I'm sure we could pick up this pace quite a bit. But I wanted really to feel <clears throat> how the power was, how the transmission was working, how the clutch was working and all of that. This bike has got a hydraulically controlled uh, clutch lever on it, which makes it nice and smooth for coming around those corners and stuff. The, uh, the power's got good, good motors, got good power under it. It'll put, put it right out there for you. It's not gonna be as fast as a 450 or something, but it isn't far from it, I can tell you that. It did accelerate fast enough to scare me. So um, the brakes were working good. They take a little bit of braking in um, on the uh, GPX. So if you end up with a GPX, just give the brakes a little time and the suspension a little time to get broke in before you start making a lot of changes to it. Um, I found the bike to handle extremely neutral. It jumped neutral. You know, it wasn't front end high or rear end high or anything like that it was a nice level jump on it which i really appreciate because i can make my own adjustments later like this one i finally cleared that little double and uh and that but i found coming around these turns the bike hold it held its line very well i could put it anywhere i wanted to on the track maybe you already noticed that i was taking some of the corners outside to the inside and some of them from the inside to the out so it'll it'll turn where you want it to and all the controls on it, the handlebars, the layout, 
the ergonomics and all that stuff was very neutral, very easy to get used to. In fact, if I jump off of it and onto a KTM or onto a Riehu or something like that, I think you're going to find them all very similar in the way they handle in that. It's not like you have to go out and relearn the whole bike. It's uh, really good to work with. So um, I'm going to cut my story short and let you watch me go around if you're interested and you can hear the motor run. And we do appreciate all your comments. Um, we love feedback. Um, please share these videos with your friends. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in a few days. Take care now.